Kingdom. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another Apex Legends video. It's Hippo, and today we are talking about Mirage. If you have been playing Apex Legends at all this season, you know Mirage got a buff. And what kind of buff was it? It was a footstep on the decoy buff. Mm, mm, mm. That's how big of a buff it was. In fact, it was such a buff that it made Mirage become a nightmare to play against. Now, come on. Come on. Did I get you? Did I get you? All right, hate me later. But anyway, back to Mirage. He is a nightmare to play against. So I started playing as him myself and I noticed a lot of people are using Mirage incorrectly. So here we are, it's advanced tutorial time. We're gonna take a look at some clips of me playing Mirage. We're gonna look at what I did wrong, what I could have did right, what I did do right, what is just all the good stuff, you know, just all the good stuff. By the way, if you haven't seen my last advanced tutorial on Rampart, be sure to check that out because it was a screamer. So let's get right into this video and look at some of these clips. Don't forget to smash the like button because we going up. You already know what time it is, going up. Smash the like button, drop a sub if you're new here, and let me know if you guys want me to do more of these tutorials for these characters. I make it my mission. I will make it my mission to learn each one of these characters to the T and come out with some advanced tips for all of them. So just let me know in the comments. So if you're new to these tutorials, here's how this works. First. We're gonna watch the clip, full through. I'm not gonna touch it, we're just gonna watch it. Then we're gonna run it back, I'm gonna slow it down, we're gonna talk about it. That's how this works. So let's get to this first clip. So in this first clip, me and my wife noticed this team pushing up the hill. We already see them, but they don't see us. So as a Mirage man, what you guys have to start doing is outsmarting the enemy. Knowing your next move and knowing their next move before they even know their next move. I knew they were going to run up the hill. I know they don't see us. So I wait for them to push up the hill. I throw my decoy out. I then wait for them to take the bait pretty much. And let's see what happens. Bait goes out. Here they come. The first one to see it now. I peek over and what do you know? Lifeline. Guess what she's shooting at? The decoy. This is all you need right here, guys. This is all you need. You just need you just need a split second to get the advantage. Now I have a hundred percent advantage because she's shooting at the decoy and she's probably about to say, "Oh shit!" Oh shit is right. <laughs> evil <laughs> it's just it's over after that it's over so you have to out outsmart your enemy always think of ways to outsmart your enemy stop being so basic stop just throwing your decoy straight at them and then just running to the side of it that's so basic it's time to think outside the box okay so in this next clip there's a lot going on so let's take a look and see So at the beginning of this clip, my initial plan was I heard the Wraith running to her, her left. So I was gonna throw my decoy to the left and try to flank her from the right. Cause as a Mirage main, you always wanna try to flank enemies. That should be your ultimate goal. How can I get a shot off in somebody's ear hole without them seeing me? Cause if you can do that, you can one clip people, you know, hit them with them booger sugars, you know? And then it just gets, it just gets nasty. So we do that. And I try to flank, but lo and behold, here comes Ray. She's standing there waiting. Mm. Go ahead and see me. Go back to heal. My feet, no. Master. She did enough damage to get one down. So I climb up. I know the Wraith is still a little bit weak because I hit it for 197. She had three HP. So I climb up, I momentum slide off the bin and launch my decoy. You see, my decoy is this, here's my decoy right here. He's running now. 
I immediately pop the ult. You always want to pop the ult behind cover or whenever the enemy can't see you. Remember, the invisible band is back. The enemy can't see what they can't shoot. So you want to pop the ult behind cover because if you pop the ult in front of them, as you're going to see in another clip later, it's easy to tell who is the real Mirage. So I pop my ult behind cover and now I'm thinking, how can I fake out this wraith? So that's why I threw my decoy. The decoy is still running and making noise, footsteps. So I crouch back behind the bin and I just wait. Sizing her up. And look who she's focusing this on. Look who she looked at, the decoy that was running. She looked at the decoy for a second. Here comes the ear hole shot. Dead, you're dead, you're dead. You should be thinking to yourself, how can I outsmart this guy enough to where I can literally ear hole him? Literally ear hole him. That's what you wanna do, you wanna ear hole enemies. When you ear hole them, you catch them off guard, and they say, oh shit. And they do that random jump in the air because you cut them off guard. That's what you want people doing. So here's another very clean example of what I mean by outsmart the enemy. You should always be thinking ahead of them. How can I outsmart them? My teammate called out in this match right here that the enemy was right behind this smoke. So he popped smoke on them and said they're both over there somewhere. So let's see what happens. Here's how you rev up that basic decoy tactical. You slide and use it. Yes, you saw it in the clip. You saw how clean it was. You saw how nasty it was. You guys have to start doing this, especially around corners. When, you, when they are expecting you to come around that corner, that's when you use it the most, because they're already gonna be aiming down sights. They're expecting something to come out from around the corner. And if something is coming out from around the corner that fast, they're gonna shoot at it. I don't care who it is. I don't care what kind of pro player it is. If somebody's moving that fast and they just slide out from behind cover, it's gonna seem like it's a real person. They're gonna shoot. And that's all you need to set up your flank. So this is what I did. Teammate called it out. We slide, we instantly throw the tactical. He takes off, look how fast he's going. I hurry up and go set up. Turn the corner, there goes Rev. I don't even notice her yet. I've never even seen her. But look, they're both shooting at the decoy. <laughs> they're both shooting at it. See the icons, the icons let you know where they are if they shoot your decoys. I'm just not noticing the teammates there. Look, that's how much you blend it in. And there it goes. I not, I not only outsmarted one of them, I outsmarted both of them with the same move because they were in the same spot. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do some of these things in the firing range after these clips. But that's just a basic example of how you could rev up that tactical. All you see is people, they throw the tactical, the, the Mirage decoy, he's always just running, the same animation, there's no skill involved to it, there's no creative thinking. You gotta creatively think, how can I outsmart the enemy? And when you do stuff like that, that's when it gets real. So momentum slide and toss those decoys out. I promise you, it's gonna work so well. People are gonna shoot at it because it's moving so fast, it looks like a real character, and they're gonna shoot at it. You can't help but shoot at it, I would shoot at it. Okay guys, so next clip. And notice how simple all of these clips are. And I say simple with a purpose because simple means that anybody can do it. So stop thinking you guys can achieve these things. Have confidence in yourself, believe in your Mirage abilities and get this stuff done. It's so simple and when you master it, it's gonna, you're gonna start having so much fun. You're gonna be literally laughing at kids while they're shooting at you because you know it's over. You know it's over before it even started because you already know you're about to bamboozle them. But anyway, let's get into the next clip and see what happens. So here's what's going on. This team actually third partied us, and as you see, we going crazy. We got seven kills, 1400 damage. We going crazy. We feel ah, feeling ourselves. So we just going crazy at this point. We went ahead and knocked Bloodhound, and then we push up the hill. Pathy doing his little good away grapples, you know. So I'm thinking he ran away, but unfortunately, he's at the top of the hill right here. As soon as I heard him, I threw the decoy. And I'm, I got the decoy. I'm, I'm controlling my decoy. You gotta control your decoys. Stop just letting your decoys run. Control your decoys. Control the movement. The closer to him he is, the better the movement will be for you. So we turn the corner. He sees. He shoots the decoy first. Advantage. Now we are in the advantage. We won this fight. Well, we should win this fight at least. 
Cause he's shooting the decoy right now, so I should get, I should get some shots in, which I do. Ooh, hit him for 130, 140. No, 135. Now, here's where I outsmart the enemy. He last saw me over here. Here's where the real Mirage was. The fake Mirage, the decoy, was on the right. I was on the left. So here's where you gotta outsmart your enemy. I know he's gonna switch sides, and he's, you know, he can't see me right now. I can't see him, he can't see me. But here's where I outsmart him. I switch sides. And watch what happens when he comes back out. Look who he shoots at first this time. He shoots at the the Mirage on the left that he last saw was a real Mirage. I switch sides. It's, it's that literally that simple. Switch sides. And look who he shoots at first now. But now the real Mirage is on this side. Now he's like, oh shit, dead. Something as simple as literally controlling your decoy and just swapping sides when the enemy can't see you makes all the difference in a fight. So in this clip, we talking about patience. Mirage mains, you have to have patience. Stop being so anxious to shoot all the damn time. Just because you pop your ult and just because you do have a flank, it doesn't mean you need to shoot immediately because sometimes there's a better flank that sets up the entire thing. Let's take a look. Notice I'm always laughing afterwards because I'm not, it's too easy. That's why I'm laughing. I'm just like, <laughs> it's just too easy. Okay, so this clip also has a lot going on. So let's take a look. So first things first, I have this lifeline pinned down. I had already shot her for like over 200 damage already, but she kept healing back up and I couldn't push because the teammate is right here and I can't run out in the open. So I do some damage to her again and I decide I'm going to go for this guy now. So sometimes you just got to play some backyard football, but you got to play it to outsmart the enemy. So I say, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I was gonna set up my play again from the earlier clip. I throw my decoy and I was about to get ready for my flank. But what happens is Bloodhound messed it up. He popped out too early and I was not expecting that. And I, I thought that he saw me throw my decoy, which means that he knows that this is a fake decoy. So I immediately hit the ult to keep myself from getting beamed. Immediately. Now backyard football time. Now I'm just running. I'm just running like a regular Mirage. I'm not gonna shoot or anything. This is where you gotta be patient. I see the lifeline right here. I see the lifeline right here. I can easily shoot her and beam her and probably hit her for over 100 damage before she climbs back behind that wall. But I just keep running. Just keep running, I'm setting up the next play. Bloodhound shoots at my initial decoy that I shot first. Remember the decoy that I thought he didn't see? Apparently he didn't see it or he just forgot because he just shot at it and now he's bamboozled. So I'm still acting like a fake decoy, and I just turn back. He's already used some of his bullets, so even, even if he didn't reload yet, I already have the advantage. I turn the corner, set up, you're dead. And immediately go push for lifeline, because she's on the low ground. She's trying to climb up. She's dead. So don't be afraid to take that risk and just play some backyard football, backyard soccer, backyard basketball, backyard bowling, whatever sport you want me to say, play that in the backyard and get it done. Stop being so anxious to shoot. Set up the plays, set up the plays. Don't set up just one enemy, set up both. Set up both in one play so that it just works out for you and you got you get a clip to show the world and you laughing about it. And they sitting there saying, damn, I never even seen the Mirage. So in this clip, what do you know? It's a third party, you know, third party legends. You already know what time it is. But we get a third party, wifey getting shot in the ass, cheeks, and I'm trying to save her life. I try to set up the decoy, but let's see what happens. So first things first, wife is getting chased. She calls out the Octane's chasing her. So I try to set up the decoy play like I did before. 
I throw my decoy. Well, I try to throw my decoy. Soon as I see him coming down the steps, or at least hear him coming down the steps, and I'm hoping that he turns his head just for a second so I can ear hold his ass. But it doesn't work out that way because I'm a little bit too early, as we can see. I think I threw it a little bit too early, and he missed it. He comes flying down like a like a rocket. He doesn't even know what's going on right now. He doesn't know. Push him. This is actually a mistake pushing out. Shouldn't have pushed out like that, but I didn't hear that lifeline. <laughs> Hit the ult. Get away. Pretty basic stuff. Everybody knows to do that. That's what everybody does. Now, fun stuff. She, look at she's shooting at. She's shooting at my decoys. She's getting bamboos out of her mind. She leaves her teammate wide open as a lifeline. You don't leave your teammate wide open when you're sticking the res. You protect your teammate. So she's leaving her teammate wide open. Teammate gets beamed. Boom. Dead. Now she's like, oh, wait a minute. What? What the? What happened? What, what happened? Look, she still has no idea where I am. She hasn't looked up yet. Invisible man. She has no idea where I am. She's just getting bamboozled out of her, of her mind right now. Look, she gets beamed again. She still has no idea where I am. Look, she's shooting at this decoy now. She still has no idea where I am. You gotta move. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta create space. You gotta get out of there. You gotta com completely switch locations. And then look what happens. Your decoys can do the rest for you. I see so many Mirage mains. They'll, they'll hit the ult and they'll just go from this spot to this spot. If you can see every single decoy when you aim down sights, you're not doing it right. It needs it means you need to move. She's clueless. That's why I'm laughing. Kick her in the ass cheeks. She's like, oh wait, there he is. Dead. And we picking up the babe. And we rolling. Okay, so in this clip, we in trios. We have another good game. This team rolls up on us again. We in the building. Let's see what happens. Trifecta. Let's talk about it. I taught this in one of my older YouTube videos, but if with door placements and door plays, it's very important to never turn your back on the enemy. Never turn your back without throwing some type of grenade or making sure that they can't shoot you when they open when you move from the door. So here's what happens. Bloodhounds on my door. He sees me on the door, that's which is why he turned around. But here's the, this is a huge no-no. You never turn your back. He turns his back. I immediately open the door before he even turns his back. He's dead before he even gets around the corner. But this part is, this, this clip isn't about him. This clip is about the other Mirage, not even me. So let's see what Mirage did here. Mirage opens the door. Okay, cool. Runs in, gets beamed. He pops his ult. So real important about facing Mirages. If the Mirage pops the ult in front of you, as you can see, he popped the ult, but I can still see him. Right before the decoys come out, you can see the real Mirage, which is why I say hide behind cover before you pop your ult. If you don't, a good player will notice this. this I can see him clear as day. Now the decoys pop out, it doesn't even matter. I still know he's right here. He's dead. He's dead. That fast, he's dead. So that was a, an example of how you play Mirage wrong. So let's talk about what he could have did differently. So for starters, notice I also have my ult, but because he can see me already, I don't see the point in popping my ult unless he weakens me and I get low on health and now I'm just trying to survive at that point. At that point, you just play backyard football and hope for the best. But he can see me, so I'm not popping my ult. I'm trying to get some shots in to get the advantage because it's pretty much a 50-50 fight. He opens a door and we're both just looking at each other like, hey man, how you doing? He doesn't shoot. He tries to push in the building and then pop his ult, which is where he went wrong. He's already being shot, but he's worrying about popping the ult because he's trying to force the ult. Stop forcing your ults if you don't have to use it. I'm so tired of people talking about, oh, use your ult, use your ult, use your ult. You don't have to use your ult every fight. I mean, just because it's there, that doesn't mean you have to use it. I see people literally force that. They, they force 
the ults. They forced the tactical plays with all types of legends, not just this legend, but any legend. They just forced the plays with the abilities because they're so ability based that they worry about. They worry that they can't get kills without using the abilities. So he's literally trying to force his ult by pushing back in the room and then pop the ult without even shooting first. And that's why he died. So key takeaways here, stop forcing the issue with your ults. Stop popping the ults if the people can see you. I just gave y'all a lot right there, man. Y'all better smash the like on this video. I just gave y'all a lot. Smash it, smash it. Mm -hmm. Max clip. Ooh, like the Matrix. <laughs> Charge rifle. Y'all remember that oh shit moment I was telling you? That oh shit jump they do? That was that. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what happened. So in this clip, my wife already knocked the teammate. She knocked the horizon. We know that the bloodhound is behind the house somewhere. So I threw a nade right before this. You saw, if you saw in the original clip, I threw a nade right in this area. Trying to push the bloodhound over here. And we're also getting shot in the back because somebody has a charge rifle. So we got to hurry up and kill this squad. So my plan is to outsmart the enemy again. Like I said, I know he's behind this house somewhere. I threw my nade right here in an effort to push him more to the left. So what you guys ought to just start doing is, again, when you pop behind cover, it's about momentum plays. Stop just having your decoy run across the screen. Yeah, it works, but it's so basic. It's time to be advanced. It's time to really bamboozle people and scare the living shit out of them. Watch how scared this bloodhound gets. You have to time it just right. I take control of my decoy. Slide, look at the slide. I already see Bloodhound, he's dead. He sees this, he's like, holy moly. Slide jump into it. So he, he sees two mirages right now, slide jumping towards him. He gets his bat off, jumps in the air, oh shit moment. That's the oh shit moment, that's when you know you got him. They jump in the air like that, that's when you know you got him. Look, look who he shoots at. Oh, wrong guy, you're dead. Luckily, he gets saved by the lifeline res. Imagine that. But look, look, look at the lifeline. She's even getting bamboozled. She ran right past me because I didn't shoot at her because I wasn't past the rest shield yet. So I guess she assumed that maybe I was just a decoy. So she comes out and starts shooting at this decoy. And I'm laughing at this point because she's dead too. So just like that. I knew Bloodhound was over there or at least in the area. You momentum slide with your decoy from around cover and it works beautifully. Yeah. Just, just, you just love it. All right, so next clip. We dropping hot, we in Olympus. Let's take a look and see what happens. Talking trash, baby. Gotta talk trash. Teammate coming. Gotcha. <laughs> Dead. Let's talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about it. So we went ahead, we turned the corner, we hit the Wraith with a momentum slide decoy. Like I said, it's super hard not to shoot at that thing because which one looks like the real Mirage? The one sliding, which you would think a real person would be doing, or the one that's behind him just running, standing up? You're gonna shoot at the one that's sliding because that's the one that seems real. So let's take a look. Sure enough, we turn the corner, we slide. Send a decoy. Look how fast it comes out. Oh shit! <laughs> there it goes. The oh shit moment. <laughs> Gets him every time. Dead. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple, guys. Anybody can do this. That's why I would keep saying over and over again that it's really that simple to do. We send it at the right time. Got her shooting at it, it's over. That's just a basic decoy right there. Everybody's already doing that, so we ain't gotta talk about that much. Next clip. Okay, so in the next clip, here's what's going on. This team pulled up on Wifey with no audio, of course, like, you know, the usual Apex Legends. So I'm trying to get my ass back over there before she gets knocked, and let's take a look and see what happens. Right 
did him so dirty. Did him so dirty. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay, so here's one of those risky Mirage plays that sometimes you just got to try it. You got to try it because you just got to be different. You have to be that different Mirage. Stop thinking of those basic plays and start thinking of ways you can really outsmart the enemy. So here's what my thought process was. Babe, Babe did a great job at getting the first enemy weak. I had only had to shoot him like three or four times. He's knocked. He's out of there. Now we got to focus on Mr. Caustic. Like I said, I'm behind cover. He doesn't see me. So I pop the ult and then I let things play out. He starts running actually towards me directly and he has a master foul. So I said, you know what, I also have a master foul, but he's a caustic, he has damage reduction. I'ma see if I can play this through it. I'ma see if I can play through it. I'ma just run into him, act like I'm not the real Mirage, and then hopefully it works, he doesn't shoot, and then if it doesn't, he just got bamboozled so hard, and of course, it's ear hole time, baby. And that's exactly what ended up happening. Now, could I have played wrong and he could have shot me? Yeah, but then I just would've shot back and it would've just been best man wins at that point. But you gotta be a risk taker, Mirage, baby. You gotta get these type of plays. Come in, like I said, Babe does a great job. Pop the ult. Just run into him. Take a risk. He falls for the bait. He's looking around. He's like, wait a minute. Oh, wait, what? I just looked at him. Look, whipping his shot. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead before he even realized what's going on. He just ran into me and, and, and thought I was clean. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta bamboozle the enemy by just completely stopping. All, a lot of basic mirages, they just run around, you know, they because that's all they know how to do. Sometimes you just got to stop and see what see what the enemy does, and then you play off the enemy. So that's what we did here. We hit him for 84 in the first master shot. Bang! Then we whiff the second one because, you know, that's how the master rolls. You're either going to whiff or you're going to hit for 13. So we go ahead and pop the yo. We say we're going to go ahead and play with this kid because he was the last one alive anyway. I had my whole team alive. So why not try some stuff? But it worked out perfectly. Bam! With ult time. Look, look at him. He's so confused. He's so confused. And this is where I take my shot. Once he starts running and his gun is up in the air and not aiming at me. Oh, ear hole time. Another 84. Oh, there it goes. Oh, shit moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. They jump in the air. That's it. Once they jump in the air, that's when you know you really got them. All right, guys, so we're in the firing range now. We do have the beautiful Mrs. Hippo here with us. She's actually gonna show us what it would look like on our screens if somebody did the momentum slide Mirage decoy. So babe, let it rip. Now look how fast he's coming. How would you not shoot at that? So here's how it would look if you didn't actually see the Mirage coming. Go ahead, babe. So how would you not shoot at that? Who's not gonna shoot at that? You're gonna shoot at that. That's why it works. That, that's why it works to damn near perfection every time. Because you're gonna shoot at it. It's coming way too fast. Now let's take a look at a few other things that we can do. Okay guys, so another quick tip about Mirage here is this. You can send decoys through grenades. You can send decoys through Watson fences. You can get hit by people, by enemies ultimates. And it's actually going to reveal where the enemy is. So notice that my lovely assistant here, Joyana, she is Watson. She put the Watson fences up. She's standing right here. Now she's not on my team. See, I can shoot her. I'm doing damage to her. Now watch, when I, watch what happens when I send my decoy through the fence. It's gonna tell me where she is. Seen it pop up, see? It's telling me that she's right here. So this is crucial to know as a Mirage main. So when people are throwing deep, uh, grenades at you, they're throwing their ults at you, they're throwing any kind of tactical that does damage to you, send your decoy at it. And then it's actually going to reveal the enemy. Do it again. Look, she's right there. Look how amazing that is. Look at all that information you get. But like I said, this also works for grenades. They threw the grenade prematurely. I tossed my decoy. Look, it's telling me where she's at. Make sure when you're trying to control your decoy, you have your gun out first. Notice my gun's out here. I have the gun in my hand. You know, I aim, he aims, you know, like the usual mirage. But if you put your gun up and then send out your decoy, let's see what happens. He has no gun out. Even if I take my gun out, he still has no gun out. But once I let it go and then recontrol them, the gun comes back. This is a major difference. Good players will notice that you don't have a gun in your hand, which lets them know that's not the real Mirage. So make sure you're controlling your Mirage with your gun out first so he actually has a gun in his hand. 
Something else that I've noticed about Mirage, if you have a grenade in your hand, your run animation actually changes for your decoy. So this is the standard Mirage run. Everybody knows this run, right? Everybody knows that run already. Whether he has a gun in his hand or not, it's pretty much the same run. But if you put a grenade in your hand and do the same run, or do the launcher decoy, this is what happens. The run completely changes. So this could be a good way to, you know, maybe mess with somebody's head because you don't see this run often. Everybody knows what the other Mirage run looks like, but nobody knows what really that one looks like. So that'd be a good way to make some plays off of. Make some really good plays. See, this is the run we're all used to. We're all used to seeing this Mirage run because that's his standard animation. And then when you're doing your momentum slides, all you have to do is slide, look at direction, and then just send it that quick. And look, he's out of there. And I'm telling you, they're gonna shoot at it. You can do it backwards. Now imagine the enemy's chasing you and you send something like that backwards. They're gonna shoot at that. And then you that gives you just more time to get away. You just haul an ass at that point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something from this Mirage tutorial. Let me know what I missed because like I said, I'm always learning too. Teach me something too. Teach me in the comments. Let me know what you guys learned. Let you know what you guys can teach me because Mirage is so much fun. I've been having a blast. The games have been popping off. We're going to get that 20 bomb in that 4K soon. Then we really going to be popping off. But don't forget to drop a like because we doing what? Going up. Drop a sub if you're new, because you already know what time it is, baby. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.